My lovers, welcome to my channel. My name is Made for Love and welcome to a no contact reading. So if you don't have contact with your person, um, this is going to be a reading for you. We're going to look at what's the most important thing that they want you to know um, about them right now. Okay, so we're going to take the cue from their higher self, start the reading off with that. And then I'm just going to move intuitively through the reading. Usually I have a guide, but I left it um, at home. I'm in a different locale until Thursday and then it's business as usual. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. What was that? <laughs> All right. So let's see um, what their higher self wants you to know. I'm going to go into my divine counterparts in separation decks. So that makes a lot of sense. Okay. And let's get a significator for your person. Oh, gosh. This person just doesn't know how you guys are going to come back together. That's what I'm seeing. That, that's what I'm seeing here. They don't know how to bring this together. They don't know how to pick the pieces up. They don't know how to mend things um, with you. All right, so let's see. Um, higher self, tell me what it is that you want us to know. What's the energy? You see what I'm saying? What did I just say? They don't know how to bring things back together. Sorry, please forgive me. And it looks like your person's going through a hard time. It's a card number 23 and 23 reduced to five. And we know what five is the most challenging bloody number out there. But that's where you experience the most soul growth. So this person is in the fives right now. So those of you who've seen five fives, um, five, 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 all those kinds of things. know this is what it's all about because five is about those spiritual lessons. And you know how we learn, right? <laughs> Through hardship and pain. <laughs> that's why we're here on earth, right? To experience the struggle and through struggle, this is how we get strong. So through struggle, we get strength, right? So this is what's happening with this person. They want to come back. They want to mend things. They want to be back in contact, but they have no idea how to bring this back together. They don't know how to mend this. I think they think that it's, it's irretrievable. Whatever damage they did, they think it's irretrievable. Whether they ghosted you, chose somebody else, went in a different direction, whatever happened between you guys, betrayed you, whatever happened between you guys, they want you to know that they're sorry and they're wanting your forgiveness. They just don't know if it's possible because even when they think about it, they're like, I would never forgive this person. So why would you forgive me? Let me pull three cards on this and let's see. Let's pull three cards on this, guys. So we have the judgment in reverse. So they, wa they want you to know that their judgment was off. They weren't really thinking. They were reacting. Okay, big, 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 big difference. Okay, this is when you're dealing with the reptilian brain, which will act from impulse, it acts from memory. Some of the memories they can't even remember. <laughs> Some of the memories they can't even remember because it's before their memory in this life. Okay, so they were just reacting. So, whatever you triggered, you triggered some past life wound, you triggered some kind of inner child. This person wasn't thinking, they just reacted. Whatever they did, whatever they did. They were just reacting. Look, we have the chariot in reverse. So now they're stuck. And no, this is major or major arcana. We have the chariot in reverse. They're feeling stuck now. For whatever reason, um, they feel stuck because they don't know how to bring this together. You guys are in no communication. This person may have ghosted you. And for some of you, this person is with someone else. We have a karmic coming through. Because in my readings, revert co reverse court cards are karmics. And this karmic is verbally abusive. This karmic is also the stalker, okay? So it looks like they have no idea what to do, how to reach out to you. Even if they plucked up the courage, they don't even know how to do it because there's also this karmic that's looking on. So they want you to know that. They may not be able to show up in 3D right now, but they want you to know that they are sorry, okay? They are sorry. All right, so let's have a look at their emotions when they either ghosted you went into no contact betrayed you what were they feeling and then we're going to look at what they're feeling now what were they feeling when the incident because there's always a, that incident that breaks the back right that breaks the camel's back so what, what what were they feeling when the incident happened so it could have been a series but the thing that really broke the camel's back what were they thinking for for each of you it's going to be different what were they thinking? Oh, 
we got curious all right so it looks like they were intrigued by a connection but maybe they were intrigued by someone else too maybe they want to explore something whether it was their sexuality explore some of the feelings with about someone else whatever it was i think they were very interested in you but they could have been interested in in something else Ooh, there's a weird message coming through for some of you this person might have been bi curious okay and they may, may have gone uh, they may have gone off to explore those feelings or they may have been feeling intimidated by committing to you when they were fe having other feelings okay i'm gonna pull cards on it but that's a that's a weird message that came through there so for some of you this person was bi curious and they went off to explore that but or maybe they just didn't want to commit and you have to kind of respect that that's okay I, in fact i prefer that than somebody being um, on the down low and hiding who they really are or their authentic self. So I think they, f they felt that maybe they would have hurt you, okay? Because they, maybe they weren't sure about what exactly they were feeling. So that's a specific message for someone, but that's what came through um, there. We have powerless. So they felt like they were powerless to change the trajectory of things. Maybe they were committed to someone else at the time um, and they were unavailable. Um, maybe um, they were afraid of what people would say or um we can pull cards there's but there's something here about them feeling powerless to change circumstances they weren't standing in their power they were giving their power to someone else so it could even have been um addictions um as well and again i'm getting a fe the feeling that you may not think it but this person tried to protect you from themselves because they were in their shadow element look at right here they were in their shadow element okay and they knew it. I think this person knew deep down they would hurt you. They knew it. So it's, you know, people's rejection are always your protection. Because this person had nothing to give. They were empty, guys. Empty. Running on empty. They had nothing to give you. And that's why they always took from you. And they're realizing that now. I'm really getting a big change in your person. But, you know, tribulation always um, brings us about. So there's big changes with your person. But they had nothing to give you. I'm sorry if that hurts or if that triggers you, but know that this is the truth. It had nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them. They had nothing to give you or anything else. And if you think that they're giving to the karmic, they're not giving the karmic shit. They're not giving them anything. They're just there in the karmic presence, but if they're not giving anything, then there's nothing to give because this person didn't love yourself. And as Ileana keeps saying, and I always hold on to that, if you're giving from a place of emptiness, then what you're giving is trash. And this person was given or trying to give from a place of emptiness. That's why they could have only breadcrumbed you. And right now they're breadcrumbing the karmic. So let's see curious. You can only give when you truly love yourself. The rest of the time you're holding on and clinging on to people. So that's what they're doing right now. Well, that's what they were doing then. So they were curious. We have page of swords. Okay. So this person was curious about your connection. All right. They were very curious about you. I think they were keeping eyes on you. They're keeping tabs on you. And I think they're still doing that, quite frankly. They were curious about you, but, you know, and I think they were catching feelings. I'm feeling this weird sense of panic. <laughs> I'm feeling, they're giving me this vision of like a little boy hiding behind a wall peeping out so they were curious about these feelings that you were invoking with them but they, they they didn't feel confident enough to step out from behind that wall and expose themselves that's what i'm getting guys that's what i'm getting yeah this person you may not have known but this person um battles with depression um and I think they just felt like they had nothing to give to the situation. I think they felt empty. They, they didn't know how to accept love. They didn't know how to accept love. So they saw all this love here. They, they kept peeping at it. Like, I keep getting an image of somebody peeping. They kept peeping at it, wondering, is this love? Is this love? But because they didn't love themselves, they couldn't recognize it. Okay, and that's why, that's why they may have rejected you. They were feeling these feelings. You were sparking these feelings. They know that you were offering something that was special, but they just couldn't accept it. Let's see, powerless. Ah! And you know, the fourth cup just literally just flipped over in my hand. So 
they felt powerless because this person four of cups reverse afraid of rejection they thought at some point you would see that they had nothing to offer nothing to give and that you would walk away so before you rejected them they rejected you they they honestly felt that they had nothing to give they were void they were empty and that's why they ran away look at the eight of wands ran for the hills ran for the hills so for a lot of you this person goes to you they just ran for the hills um it was their own woundedness yeah they were in their shadow element and know that a lot of this was karma okay look we have this wheel of fortune there a lot of this was karma but whatever happened between you guys this was a turning point in your person's life and in your point too and it was the intervention of fate so things could not have gone differently this is divine plan um playing out okay so you might sit down there maybe if this person had done this we would be happy all now or if i'd done that like, no you would not have been this is divine plan playing out this had to happen for your person and you too to address your shadow side or whatever emptiness that you guys had deep within look we have the knight of swords with us you guys didn't know yourself you guys did not know yourself you didn't know who authentically um you were inside okay you didn't know yourself right so this had to happen all right so know that things could not have been done differently this is the hand of faith this is divine plan okay all right my mother just inter uh, interrupted for so for some of you <laughs> divine plan was interrupted by a mother figure or some kind of family members okay <laughs> all right so how are they feeling now so this is what happened how are they feeling now so don't beat yourself up and don't beat this person up this is divine plan all right um they feel empowered look at that look at that from powerless to empowered i told you it just had to happen everything always works out for the highest good of everyone everybody involved don't ever doubt it don't ever doubt it guys but they're still it's weird right they're empowered but they're also in self-defeated so they're kind of yo-yoing but it's still better than the energy that they have before right we have depressed though so they're still here i think this person is really recognizing what they've done um, and they're really missing you but you know what they have to go through this because they have to find their own inner light right i think this person thinks that they've lost you um, and they want to take some kind of action because they're realizing that you're the trustworthy one and they want to be trustworthy they want to show up um, for you and for this connection okay all right so let's pull a couple cards on these and then i'm going to get into what they want you to know right now what's the most important thing that they want you to know i'm going to pull about six cards all right so let's see empowered yeah i i think that this person i think they're working on their finances i don't think they're ready to release their walls or let their walls their barriers down just yet i think they're still holding on um to some other connection and they're still holding on to you i think thinking about you thinking about the memory of you holding on to you um makes them feel strong holding on to the memory of you that's what i'm hearing holding on to the memory of you um, makes them feel strong it's really helping them heal their heart and for some of you they're releasing a third party okay they're holding on to the memory of you and this allowing them um to release a third party and to heal their heart but they're self-defeated they don't think that you're going to take them back see look they're howling at the moon here they're howling at the moon they really think that they have lost you they don't see how they can make a comeback they don't feel like the comeback kid they don't see how that's gonna happen and they have this solid offer for you look we have virgo coming out here we have cancer pisces they have this solid offer but they don't think that you're gonna accept it and that's why they're in mourning right now that's why they're depressed look here all the passion has gone because you've left their life okay we have sagittarius coming through we have the sun in reverse even so this is this is this this is serious depression for your person okay so hopefully they're going to reach out to someone that can help right we have leo in reverse here and um, the sun in reverse so they they are really depressed they're really low um and sending love sending your prayers really does help i mean i see it in srt all the time it's like it it manifests like a kind of golden light showering and raining down on them it's really beautiful to see and um, when you do send it so please do 
right? They do feel it. They really do. And we have trustworthy. Yeah. So we have death in reverse. Let's see what that's about, Scorpio. And we have page of cups in reverse. I think they're kicking themselves because um, they realize that um, for some reason, this death card, they're saying it's stubborn. It means stubborn today. So it's a negative aspect um, of Scorpio. Um, so they're saying that, you know, they're realizing now that their stubbornness to reveal their feelings um, is what caught what was part of the breakdown of this connection um but now they're realizing like you're their twin flame or you're their soulmate okay and you're the trustworthy one now i think this person is like they had trouble distinguishing you from the counterfeit people um in their life okay uh, so, so now they're they're here they're here they're king of cups all right so what is it that they want you to know what's the most important thing that they want you to know right now or want to say to you i'll take about six cards okay what's the most important thing they want you to know right now or what they want to say to you okay so we have hierophant okay so we have taurus energy for some people like your, your person might be married we have um Knight of Pentacles in reverse. That's a Virgo. We have Ten of Wands in reverse. Um, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I think they're releasing negativity. <laughs> um, we have the Empress. That's you, Taurus and Libra energy. Um, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, they're telling me line it up like this. These are clarifiers. Okay. So what do they want you to know? They want me to read it like this. And I don't I usually don't. I usually read it like this. All right. So they're telling you, um, right now they've learned an important lesson. One they're able to recognize who's the real one right now and they're recognizing you as the empress they're recognizing their soul contract with you the empress they also want you to know that you know um there is this commitment that they have um with a third party let me pull a card on these two cards okay and they want to come back and make things right okay we have justice here okay um they want to know previously um well, it looks like they're still depressed, but this is the card of the overthinker, the, the, new, the, the neurotic. So they were overthinking things before, and that's why... Why did that fall down? Whoa, 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 whoa. Crazy, right? They think that they lost you. That card just disappeared. I didn't even know when it flew off the table. What the fuck? They think that they've lost you, so they want you to know that as well, right? So weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the thing that they lost you, um, and that kind of broke that overthinking, um, that ruminating energy that they had, um, really freed them because then they were able to log into their heart space. So they moved out of this Eight of Swords energy where they were completely in their head, and that grief allowed them to log into their heart space and recognize um, who you were. So whereas they were in a karmic cycle here, not, be, not able to free themselves or to move out, they've now moved into their heart space um, with this King of Cups and they're letting you know this karmic cycle had to happen. Spirit is letting you know that, not just a person. Spirit is letting you know that this karmic cycle had to happen so that your person um, could be this King of Cups, this Scorpio energy, which is about emotional maturity. It's about intense love and feelings, emotions, okay? Um... Let me just get some 3D messages from them and then I'll get a guidance card for you, right? So know that this person is in their heart space right now. So that's a takeaway. And what they really want you to know is that they so they're sorry. They're just so sorry. Um, what we have here, I'm working on my strategy to come towards you. Please have mercy on me. Mm -hmm. Please have mercy on me because just when I think I'm ready 
you then cut off communication. So for some of you, you're like, mm, you drew the line, you were the ghoster, or you just, you know, told them what was what and then drew your boundary. Um, you cut off just when I'm, just when I think I'm ready, you then cut off communication, shut me out or push me away with your anger. I want to fix things between us. So we got that before. They do want to fix things, but they're saying they want you to be in a receptive mood too. I mean, that's all up to you. I don't know what this person may have done. Okay. But know that they are, they are, they are sorry here. Let's get two more and then we get a card of guidance for you. Okay. I'm working through my fears. Okay, so, and that's the Eight of Swords reverse. I'm working through my fears so that, I, so that I can explain everything to you one day. All right, so this person's facing their fears and you had to, you had to leave for them to really face their feelings. Okay, um, they weren't ready to do that when you were in their energy. I've been calling you home to me with manifestation and healing energy. So they're sending healing energy to you. I see us together in my dreams and I believe that I will, and I believe that it will happen in divine timing. So they're, they're, they're leaving this up to fate as well, okay? They're leaving this up to fate. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. So anyway, so this person, they are sorry. And I think that's the key take-home message today. And uh, that they are working on themselves. And we've seen that so many times. All right? Um, so let's get the card of guidance for you. What does spirit want you to take on? What do you want? What does spirit want you to do? So this person has said their piece. And what does spirit want you to do? What's the guidance for you? The guidance is milk and honey. So that, that tells me that there's going to be an up answer of card number 51. 51 reduced to 6, which is about the lovers. That's about love. Okay? So spirit is saying that you guys are going to get an opportunity to manifest this relationship. Okay, they're going to give you an opportunity and whatever happens is up to you. It could, even, it, it could either be milk and honey or it could be a bloody mess. It's all up to you. That's what I'm getting from this. So let's see card number 51. Okay, here we are. Here we are, guys. Um, sensuality, connection and passionate romance between lovers. Sweet moments of understanding. And love among friends and family are all here for you to savor now. Your heart's calling, and they're calling you too, um, will be answered. Let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude, and you will be nourished with the honey of abundance. So even spirit saying you got to change your vibration too for this person to come in. So if you want this person, and on some level you want this person to come in, whether for closure or for a relationship, you're watching this, come on, we got to be real. We have to move into that emotional integrity. So if you want this person, spirit saying, you got to work on yourself and change your vibration. They are sorry. They do want your forgiveness. Okay. But you have to change your vibration and be in that receptive mode so that they can come in. If you want them to come in, if you want, if you don't want them to come in, then it makes no sense. Even re watching these readings, best to get on with your life, you know? All right, guys. So that was your reading. You're going to have the opportunity. You can either have milk and honey or a mess. It's all up to you. All right, take care. Bye.